one of the things I talk quite a bit about in a lot of my videos is grain direction and recognizing grain direction, taking care of uh, what uh, direction your cut is with respect to the grain and the ideas of going against the grain, across the grain, along the grain. Um, but mostly we want to focus on making cuts with the grain. So if you're going to be trying to uh, pay attention to that, uh, I realize I've never actually talked about how to define those terms, how to know what the uh, grain direction is for your cut. So I want to talk about that here. And when, at least for me and my terminology, when I talk about uh, cutting with the grain or against the grain, it's with respect to the, or you can think about it with respect to the wood that's not being cut. So I'm going to cut out this uh, darker triangle here and to understand if I'm going to make this cut, is this with the grain or against the grain? So I like to, uh, at least mentally, or think about drawing kind of a line uh, perpendicular to the grain. So you can see the grain is running this way along this wood. And so I draw this perpendicular line up on the place where I want the cut to start and then draw some lines from that into the wood that I'm going to cut into this triangle along the grain direction. And so I've got these parallel lines here that represent the grain and I'm looking for a cut direction that goes from short to long. So in this case, on this cut, if I were to start here and come down, I'm going to be cutting with the grain because I'm cutting up here. These are short lines and then they get longer as I move down. And as is often the case with a single chip, um, you're going to have different grain directions for different cuts. So if I flip over to the other side, I get a mirror image and you can see now the short grain lines are uh, still on the inside, but that's uh, on the right here for me. And so I would actually want to cut again down uh, from this point, uh, whereas that's kind of the, the backwards cut for me. If I flip this around to actually do the cut, this is how my hand would be. And you can see if I cut from here, now I'm going from long to shorter lines along that grain that's not being cut. And so that would be an against the grain cut. Um, and if you haven't seen other videos uh, that I talk about that, you want to carve with the grain uh, pretty much as much as you can. It uh, resists the knife uh, less. It allows you to get a, a straighter cut, a um, smoother cut usually. There's not uh, real hard and fast in this. I've had people I taught who carve uh, with the grain against the grain and they say, I don't really notice a difference. So, you know, you try different things and if it doesn't make a difference for you, then, you know, that's fine. Cool. Do whatever uh, is comfortable or whatever works. But being aware of grain direction is useful for times when maybe you're not getting the results you want. It's something to think about. Is it because I'm carving against the grain? Um, so we can uh, go ahead and carve this one out. And you can see nice and smooth, nice and easy uh, for that cut. And then I can make this cut which is across the grain. Um, that's an easy one to identify when you're carving perpendicular to the grain. Uh, that's what I call across the grain. Uh, if you're carving in line with the grain, then that's along the grain. Uh, so I think those two are the easiest. So just identifying uh, with versus against the grain is what's uh, probably more of a challenge for people getting started or new to the terminology. So, like I said, uh, if I were to do my natural uh, cut from here down, that's against the grain. And I think for this uh, instance, that probably wouldn't be too big of a deal. But if I were carving this for a project, I would go ahead and uh, flip it over and do this as a with the grain cut. And get the a nice smooth... Uh, inside facet that I'm looking for there. And it's it's common with triangles, depending on what your pattern is, that you'll have uh, one with the grain, one against the grain, and one uh, across the grain. Or if I rotated this 90 degrees, I could have one that's you know with the grain, against the grain, and along the grain direction. But you're going to have different um, you know grain cuts on geometric shapes like this. But I do have an example here as well where I actually have 
two of the sides because the the angle is so obtuse so wide that these first two cuts are actually both with the grain so I can uh, you can see short to long on this side and then it continues in the same direction and so I'm going shorter to longer on this side as well so that one's kind of a nice comfortable one but recognizing that if this was a symmetrical pattern and I got to the other side if there's a rosette or something and I come over here now I'm gonna have two uh, opposite sides so I'd have to either carve these against the grain or uh, use the backwards carve and so um, actually this one when I flip it over I'm gonna have uh, another third uh, with the grain cut so uh, sometimes you get kind of lucky, it's nice and convenient, uh, easy chips like that, you don't have to worry about uh, changing things around. But things often get trickier with a chip like this, uh, kind of semicircle uh, D-shape, where you can see for the top half, you know, I would like to carve this all as one smooth chip. So it would be one cut here along the grain, and then one cut on the, the curve. The top part, no problem, short to long, carving this way is with the grain. But right here, it transitions, and now if I keep going on the bottom, looking at this part that I'm not uh, cutting, that I'm going to keep in place, now I'm going from long to short lines. Um, I don't know if you can see these very well. We've got a short one here, and then a long one. You can kind of continue that down, and now the distance between the uncut and the cut so I have to flip over because I can't get it to there. So I look at the bottom now, and now I'm carving from a long line to a short line. And so this single cut goes from with the grain to against the grain. And um, that's a, a tricky chip. There's no way uh, to uh, do that and, you know, magically fix the, the grain direction. So uh, one common technique to deal with that is actually to make it in two cuts to come here stop right where that transition happens right where I would start carving against the grain uh, and then come back and carve backwards on that one and the reason for that is uh, especially if this had already been carved if I go ahead and uh, carve this part and now because you don't usually want to carve along the grain as the last thing and so if I do this now as I carve it starts to rip that grain because the knife kind of gets stuck in those uh, grain lines and it starts to kind of wedge and pry and peel against the grain direction and so uh, you see a little bit of right there it's not smooth it's not even um, that's what we're looking to avoid uh, with that grain transition. So, like I said, you could um, do it as two cuts and come back in the opposite direction uh, to make the cut. Take some practice, though, because then you're trying to match up two separate cuts and make them line up exactly in that spot. Uh, so definitely something to practice if that's something that you run into. If you do curved patterns, um, probably worth practicing how you want to attack those chips that transition. Um, so one, probably the, the point where I would say it's most important, aside from these curves where it transitions, the time to be aware is when you have a, a chip like this where there's this kind of long cut and it's almost in line. It's almost along with the, the grain line here, but it's offset a little bit. And so it'd be perfectly easy uh, if I were to carve it in this direction because I'm going from Again, here's this line. I'm going from short to long, so that's my with the grain direction. But if you're not uh, paying attention or if you're not skilled at doing this kind of backwards cut, then you're tempted to go ahead and do the normal cut in this direction, which is against the grain. And um, you might be able to get away with it in a situation like this if I make that cut first, where uh, these uh, other chips, the, the rest of the wood is holding it in place, but um, even still, I think 
you're gonna end up with the knife kind of getting caught up in the grain and not doing what you want. So, so I can give an example here of, of what can happen if you try to carve this against the grain. So, guess not. That one actually worked out all right. Um, I could I could feel it uh, and kind of hear it ripping a, a little bit, and it didn't didn't behave quite the way I wanted uh, would want it to. But obviously, you know, it worked out fine in that situation. Um, sorry, my demonstrations don't always work out the way that uh, I intend. So, just have to trust me that in. Uh, in a lot of cases, if you try to make that cut uh, against the grain, and sometimes it might depend on the particular piece of wood, how uh, dry or, or wet it is, how old it is, uh, who knows, all kinds of things like that. Try another one here. But again, recognizing I would want to carve this one in that direction. So a little bit there, you can might be able to... Uh, see the knife did come off of the triangle line and it's kind of coming more straight down it's coming in line with the wood and so if I try to correct that uh, then I end up with this either jagged part or kind of a bulge where it uh, followed the grain direction so that's more typical of what you're gonna see and again the more the, the closer to along the grain it is the more that's gonna be a problem uh, for something like this where it's very off axis it's like a 45 degree angle that's probably not going to cause any problems to to carve in that direction um so don't really have to worry about that but anyway um yeah just figured it's probably time for me to to give an actual demonstration and definition of uh my terms along the grain is when you're cutting straight parallel to the grain direction across the grain completely perpendicular to the grain direction. And then what we want to carve is with the grain. So when you look at these lines that are uh, parallel to the grain, but you're not cutting, so this is outside the chip, you want to go from short to long. That's with the grain. And if you go from long to short, that's going to be what I call against the grain. So hope that's helpful. Uh, and keep that in mind in any other videos of mine that you see that I make reference to grain direction.